Hi guys, welcome back to Astro Shed. My name is Stuart and in this video we're going to talk about my new All Sky Camera version 2. I did build one a few years ago and it's worked pretty well but it was based on the Raspberry Pi Zero which is quite a small uh, Raspberry Pi with only 512 megabytes of RAM and it, it worked probably 90% of the time but it wasn't great. This is what it looked like. Very small unit. It's all 3D printed, not my design, it was a design I found on uh, the internet and, it, and like I say it worked great most of the time but it struggled sometimes to do time lapse and the Star Trails videos using the Thomas Jacqueline All Sky software. So I've used it for a couple of years, it's worked well, I've mainly used it as a cloud cam when I've been imaging, I've had this on so I can see clouds coming from a distance. Um, uh, but it's done its job, but I thought it was time for version 2. So in this video I'm going to show you how I built my version 2 using a Raspberry Pi 4 4GB. I'm also using some of the, well a lot of the pieces that are actually were actually in this. I'm using the same lens, the same camera and the same wiring loom as well. It's the Raspberry Pi HQ camera which is, to be honest, it's great. It's about £50, £55, although I think you can get them a lot cheaper than that on eBay. Uh, and the lens was the lens that came with an ASI camera some years ago. It's a 150 degree, I believe, lens. And it's worked well. It's given me good images, so I'm going to use that. So I am uh, reusing a lot of the things. The only thing I'm rebuilding, basically, is a, is a completely new case, because this won't take an RPI for... Uh, it's the way it's designed inside it's specifically for the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, so I couldn't actually fit one in here and use this case otherwise I probably would have done so I'll, I'll take you through how I built my new All Sky version 2 step by step um, there's, bit, there's a bit of it that is 3D printed that will also be in the video if you keep watching uh, showing you that printing on my printer uh, and I think it's quite a good design uh, this is all my own design um, so let's get to the workbench and uh, take you through it. Okay, so we're on the workbench. Excuse the noise in the background, that's my uh, 3D printer working away. So what I'm going to be using is this 125mm square project box and it's 75mm deep. Quite small but it's all that's needed. This is the dome, I've not unpacked it yet. The clear acrylic dome which is a 90mm dome with four holes drilled pre-drilled to fasten it down. Um, now the bits that I'm using from my, my original All Sky Cam is the RPI HQ camera and it's a 170mm lens which was from an old ASI camera I got some time ago, I can't remember um, which one it came with but that's worked well on the old camera so that'll fit into the adapter that's printing at the moment. I've got the heater ring, which is from Dew Control, a uh, 12 volt heater ring, which will uh, work absolutely perfectly in this, just as it did before. And there's a recess in the new part that's printed at the moment for that to fit. This is the original uh, 5 metre cable, and on the end, the wiring is already done for the USB C 5 volt. Now this will be plugged into a 12 volt supply and due to this voltage regulator that's inside here which is one of these it's 12 volt to 5 volt regulator so I've got one of those in there and then I've got 12 volt out there which will go to the dew heater and then 5 volt on the other pins comes out to this USB-C connector for the Raspberry Pi which hasn't come yet it's supposed to be here today and it hasn't arrived I'm using a Raspberry Pi for uh, 4 gigabyte version and it should be here in the next day or so so that's that's from my original all sky cam so that was already made up that loom 12 volt out there for the heat and 5 volt out there for the raspberry pi using this voltage regulator uh, and then a 12 volt power supply two and a half amp which uh, readily available so those are the parts i'll be using plus so I've just unpacked the dome, just to have a quick look and make sure it's alright. This is the dome, about £13 off Amazon, but I will put all the links to all the parts that I've bought down below in the description. 
it's got four holes pre-drilled around the, the lip. The lip is around 12 millimeters wide. Uh, there's no marks on it that I can see. Like I say, it's 90 mil inside diameter. It's about 110 mil all the way across, and 45 millimeters high. So the lens should come fairly close to the top, which is good. Try and minimise reflections. Put that back away before I do put a mark on it. So this is the adapter plate that I mentioned. Still printing at the moment, 90% done. And this is the adapter plate that I designed in Tinkercad. This is going to sit on top of the project box uh, and be fitted to the top, sealed to the top. And as you can see in the centre, there's a hole with four holes around the outside. That's going to hold the camera and lens. Next to that, round that, there's a, a recess, a three millimetre recess, which is going to hold the heater ring. Uh, and then there's going to be a, a lip on it, which hasn't been printed yet. Uh, which the dome will sit around, the lip will be on the inside of the dome uh, about 8 millimeters high and this will stop any water that does get under the lip of the dome reaching the camera and getting into the electrics. I wanted to put this upstand on uh, so that I don't have to seal the dome to this adapter plate. Uh, I want to be able to just attach the dome with the four screws not bother with any sealant so that it can be removed easily for focusing and if I needed to change the lens or things like that. So, and I'll show you this closer up outside of the printer when it's finished printing. And also show you how it's going to be attached and how it's going to look on the project box itself. I can't open the door of the printer because there'll be a, a heat, the heat loss and then I might get warping on the actual print. So I hope this is coming out all right, filming it through the plastic door of the uh, 3D printer enclosure. Okay, so the print's just finished. I haven't even taken it off the bed yet. And this is what we've got. I'll let it cool down, then I'll remove it and show you how it's going to work. Okay, so I've marked the project box marked eight holes equal distance and also cut out a hole in the center uh, which will allow the camera to come through and into the adapter the holes i've put in the top here they're to put screws through from the inside of the lid up into the adapter that will hold the camera and the camera lens i don't want to be screwing down uh, into it and the screw showing i'm going to screw up from the inside of the box and that's what these holes and I'm also going to put silicon sealant on the top before I put the adapter on uh, and then with the screws all fastened that should give me a nice seal between the adapter and the top of the project box. Okay so the holes are drilled, the tape's been removed from the box. I've also drilled an extra hole here which is to accommodate the wire from the heater ring to go down through the box and sit like that on the top so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit this uh, to the lid it's going to be silicon sealed on the back and then screwed up from the underside of the lid into the base of this with some screws just to hold it and uh, give it a good seal to the uh, to the top of the box uh, and when I've done that we'll come back the camera will be screwed from the underneath using the four holes in the camera board to those four holes there and then the dome will fit nicely over the top with the upstand on the inside just stopping any water ingress and then fasten down around the outside with those four holes no sealant needed any moisture that gets under this lip will only get as far as the upstand inside and won't get any further so it can be removed really easily. So that's worked out very well. Very happy with that. Okay, so I've fitted the adapter ring on the top, screwed from the underneath with eight screws. I've also fitted the camera and lens using the four bolts there and also just put the heater ring in place. The Raspberry Pi is connected. 
And there's the eight bolts connecting it and the camera board on the bottom and the ribbon cable down to the RPI-4. I've also fitted a heat sink and fan to the RPI-4. So, looks like it's ready to be put together. I've got to fit the, uh, the dome to the top and drill the four holes in the adapter ring for the dome to be fastened down and put the wiring loom in and then I think we'll be ready to uh, test. Okay, so the dome's fitted, the ring's fitted. As you can see, I've put the dome on with four screws with some nylon washers under the screws, just so as not to force the plastic uh, inside. If I can get the lid off, just unscrew these all the way. I've got to fix the Raspberry Pi down. As you can see, I've drilled a hole into the corner post down there because they go all the way through to the bottom, those holes. All the way through. So I've drilled a hole into that corner post, put a knot in the cable and brought the cable out through one of the holes in the corners rather than drill a separate hole and put a cable gland in. I just thought I'd do it that way being as the hole was already there. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much finished now. I've already loaded all the software onto the Raspberry Pi so just got to find a way of mounting it outside and uh, it's pretty much done so yeah it's quite neat 125mm square and it looks uh, pretty neat I'm pretty pleased with that I've also got to put some glue on the underside of the uh, heater ring just to stick that down um, because with the heat it may just pop up but it is a good fit in the recess but I think I'll put a couple of dabs of uh, Gorilla Glue under that just to hold it down then I've just got to wire up the dew heater ring to the 12 volt cable inside the Raspberry Pi is already plugged in fix the Raspberry Pi down to the bottom probably with some self adhesive pads and uh, the job's good Okay, so there it is, all finished, all wired up, and it's actually on at the moment. So as soon as I get it out there and get some uh, time-lapse videos and some Star Trails images, I will post those. Um, and hopefully, all's well, but uh, I'm quite pleased with it. It is neat, it's nice and small. And there we go. Just a, a bit of an update. You know I said earlier in the video I use one of these to convert the 12 volt input down to 5 volt to supply the Raspberry Pi well it turns out this worked fine with the Pi Zero but with the Raspberry Pi 4 it's just not quite powerful enough I was getting power dropouts so I've had to change it for this little book converter which is a 12 volt input to 5 volt 3 amps output so I've still got the 12 volt coming in here and then going back out to the dew heater ring uh, and then on the other side is the 12 volt input to the book converter and then the red and black wires come out and go to the 5 volt supply to the Raspberry Pi and because this is a 3 amp this works much better so yeah this, this worked fine with the Pi Zero I think they only work up to about an amp, an amp and a half it was getting hot and I was getting power drop out so uh, just a bit of an update there so there you go, All Sky Camera version 2. So I hope that was some, of some interest to uh, you guys out there. If it was, consider subscribing or at least giving me a like. Uh, it all helps and I appreciate you watching. Uh, and clear skies and I'll catch you in the next video.